See there, bro. My my first time. My first time back in a minute. Right, bro. Don't make fun of you. Don't make fun. Don't make fun of me. No, no judgment. No judgment zone. Hey guys, man. If y'all don't mind, man, thank y'all so much, man, for for swinging by. If you could, we are going live in a few minutes uh, for our uh, virtual interest meeting. Uh, if you know anybody looking to get plugged in and get back to our next generation, man, uh, join us for our virtual info session. Uh, it starts at six o'clock. Uh, we're on Facebook Live. And yeah, what I did was I went ahead and plugged the link and pinned the link on my live. So, man, hope y'all can join us. Um, also, you can go to our website www.stsenterprise.org. Um, so um, we're, going, we're actually live hey, right. Hey, Alpha. Go ahead and jump to Facebook. Hey, Alpha, it's under the uh, it's under the media tab. It's under the Watch media. Watch live tab. under the media tab. Under the media yeah. tab. So um, if you could uh, go ahead and go to our, our website or go to Facebook at stsenterprise.org. Um, yeah. and live. Join us live, man. So we're looking for people who want to get plugged and talk. Empower our next generation. Yeah. Young That's what it's going to take. Yeah, what's going on? That's what it's going to take, y'all. It's going to take what's for going us. On, to, it's going to take for us to empower this next generation, pour into them. Um, but it'll take individuals such as yourself. Um, and what we always say is, man, is that, you know, um, you know, everybody has experiences. We ain't looking for the perfect mentors or coaches. We're looking for what the um, your right. experience right. is unique to your own story, so I guarantee right. you, a young person who is going to need that that experience as well. So, um, you know, don't, don't ready to jump on, out, on man, Facebook, because, you know, and uh, check us out. We like you ready to go live on Facebook? Are you going to the website? Uh, at STS, so um, about to go live now. Uh, man, also, what's good, my guy? Man, cool, man, bliss, dog, bliss, man, ready to. We get this thing going. We back at it again. I told I told him, bro. I said, man, uh, from last, I said I love rocking my dog, man. I ain't know it's it just some, it's yeah. just something about it, man. It's just something about rocking with my dog, yeah. man. It's a, it's a game changer. I'm gonna end my. Man, life. what you said, bro? Man, like 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 in the words of uh um the words of Travis Travis Jones, man. He said, "What up, my brother? What up, my brother?" Man. So we're gonna get this thing going, man. I hope y'all can see our screen and then see everything that we got going on. Um and uh, super excited about tonight. Um hey Alto, hey, do you see do you hear that feedback? Or is it me? Yeah, I do, I do. It's me. It's me. I'm finna uh okay, you. okay, okay, okay. Yep. Nah, you good, bro. You good. All right. Cool, you good, you good. But man, we're gonna go ahead and get this thing popping, man. Get this thing kicked off, man. Again, I, I love man being able to do a session with my bro, uh, my guy, my brother, man. And man, just tell me about the work that we do with STS, man. You know, uh, it's always a blessing, man, to to have a to have a chance, man, to empower man the next generation of leaders. You know, and man, eight years ago, bro, I promise you, bro, eight years ago, I never would have thought that we would be able to do the stuff that we've been able to do. Even just having some of the support that we've been able to have, man. So before we get shot, but before we get started, man, kudos to the man to the entire team STS, man, our STS family. Uh, shout out to the board, uh, squad. Uh, start line up. Shout out to the board, man. Shout out to our coaches, man. We got some of the best coaches in the world, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. Y'all so y'all awesome, uh, man. We could do we could not do what we do uh, without you guys. And then most definitely, man, shout out to the students, to the parents um, who give us the opportunity to, man, who trust us and give us the opportunity uh, to really empower um, this next generation of leaders. So, man, as you ready to get this thing popping? Let's get it, man. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right. Well, shoot, man. Uh, let's kick it off, man. Let's tell them, man, you know, man, how we got started. Man, you know, uh, let's tell them how we got started real quick. So yeah, man. So we were, uh, as you all, some of y'all may know, man, University of Memphis uh, graduates. We were on the University of Memphis campus. Uh, me and Jeremy actually went to middle school and high school together. Uh, he dipped on us and went to another school. It's all right, though. Um, and, and, you know, and, man, we, 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 end up, <laughs> we end up linking back up at University of Memphis and uh, eventually, man, started STS Enterprise. And we were blessed, man. Um, this lady, 
uh, Kelly Pinwell, shout out to Kelly Pinwell. She uh she charged us, man. She said, you know, she charged us with a mission. She said, man, you know, I'm gonna do two things for y'all. I'm gonna help y'all move forward this organization. I'm gonna advise y'all, consult y'all, things of that nature. But also, here goes some funds or a grant to go get y'all nonprofit. So Al Bragg set it up for us. And uh, she told us to do three things, man. Think big, start small, act now. And that has resonated with us ever since then. So as you see now, it's just enterprise. We started in December 2012, and we're still going today. Right through the glory be, glory be to God. Um, we work primarily with uh, actually middle school, high school, and college students. Um, reason why we say high school is because you usually work with eighth graders that transition to ninth grade. So we just uh, generalize it and say high school. Uh, sometimes it just flows better. But working with that that youth population, that youth or young adult population, um, which as we all know, man, is a critical a critical age, a critical population. Uh, to move the organization forward. Um, and then last but not least, man, three things, equipping, empowering, and encouraging the next generation of young, next generation of leaders. So when you see our post, we always talk about the next generation of leaders. We're going to continuously embed that into people's head that the next generation of leaders needs to equip them with, with the tools they need. They need to empower them and give, uh, to help them move forward. And they need our encouragement. You know what I mean? And so um, yeah. the goal of to create economic mobility for the next generation. And with economic mobility, we basically what they mean is we want, we want our young people to get paid straight up. You know what I'm saying? We want them to be able to get move paid. Into, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Move into another tax bracket, <laughs> right? We want them to be able to move from, from 10 hours, $10 an hour to $15 an hour to $25 an hour to 30 to 100 you know? And so that's that's what we're hoping to yeah. do. So. Oh, definitely. Oh, definitely. And man, you know, Alton, and you know, you know, for everybody who don't know, man, STS started, like, like you said, 2012. Uh, and, man, before we actually officially started, man, started with this young man right here on the screen that you guys see. Um, man, this young man, talented, brilliant, bright. Man, you know, he reminded me of me a little bit in school, you know, man. Class clown, athlete, got charisma, got personality. You know, the center of attention. And uh, I remember going, you remember going to, to Cummins Middle School, uh, Alto, Yes, sir. Um, a couple of years ago, and they gave us this young man that said, "Hey, look, man, y'all can do whatever y'all want to do with him, man. He y'all." And uh, man, we started investing in, into this young man, like man, going to basketball games, man, pulling up, man, meeting the family, chopping it up with moms, bro, man, just man, really. And at this time, bro, we we really didn't know, <laughs> you know, what mentorship was. We were just we were just kicking. It. Right, you know, just kicking it with a with a, with a young black man, man. You know, a young black male, who man, I was had gravitated to us, man, as we came to his school. And one day, man, we went to a basketball game, and um, after the game, he said, "Bro, hey, when we gonna come to the game? Make sure we get your Gatorade and everything." And from there, man, we gonna we gonna take you out to eat. So, man, you can go wherever you want to go. Uh, now, this time, me and Alex is twenty, probably twenty one years old. Right. So we ain't balling, but we can put some money together to go somewhere. And um, and then he said, "Let's go to McDonald's." Man, I feel like, bro, you want to go to McDonald's? Right. I probably just said you go anywhere, <laughs> anywhere. You know, he said, "Yeah, but I just want to go to McDonald's." All right, cool. You know, we get that to order whatever you want, man. Uh, and after we got through ordering the food, man, he asked us a question that really, it really, man, just kind of shocked out to myself. He said, he looked at us and said, "Man, who paying y'all to do this?" Like, really try to figure out, like, man, like, why y'all doing this? Like, what make y'all come to my game, about me getting raped, want to meet my family, all that. And, man, man it, it just shocked me and Alfred. And it was, it was at that point that we realized that, you know, it, it's a problem for a young a young person, especially a young black, a, a young, uh, black male, to see two other young black men and say, hey, bro, who paying y'all to do this? They had to be in the center for us to pour into him. And that really changed the game for us. And, you know, as we begin to develop this relationship, man, shout out to mom. Uh, shout out to big bro. Uh, man, most definitely had some great experiences with this young man. Um, man, as time progressed, man, some, some things happened. But, uh, man, this is most definitely one of – this was our first student. Uh, man, I know, that, I know he'll be proud of the work that we're doing now. And, man, most definitely, man, keeping him up in our prayers, man. And man, he he know that man. Hey, he, all this wouldn't have started without him. So man, uh, that was kind of how we how we got started by the question, who is paying you to do this? 
I just want to talk about the yeah. uh, organization info. Yeah, so we won't we won't take too long on this, man. Just our mission. Um, we actually updated our mission. Uh, but this is what we started with: empowering youth and college students to make excellence the norm through authentic leadership programs. And we'll, we'll talk about what makes an excellence the norm means. Um, and if I can just hit on it real quick, man, it really just means doing everything to your best abilities. Uh, understanding that yeah. man, you, you you're not gonna succeed at every single thing. You're gonna fail at some things. But at the at the at the most, can you give 100 percent effort to everything that you do? And when our students or our young people are able to do that, when adults are able to do that, I, we, we guarantee the results are 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 amazing. Um, our vision uh, to do three things: uh, help our students to exceed expectations, defy stereotypes, and create a mindset that's unyielding. The population that we're working with um, it are young man, black and brown boys and girls primarily. Um, that's the population that we're working with. With that being said, there are certain expectations, uh, there are certain stereotypes, and there's certain mentalities that come along with being. Uh, from that, from that, from that group, and so we want to make sure that our young people, they understand, and they understand where they're coming from. They understand how they see their expectations. They understand that the, the, start, the stereotype that's set on them, they can defy them, and we're gonna teach them how to do that. But at the same time, we gotta teach our young people to have that dog. We gotta teach our young people to have an unyielding mentality that will say, you know what, I will not give up. Um, and then and our three core yeah. values is how we operate: authentic, transformative, and excellence. And so. Uh, that's, a, that's how we operate. And as you can see, man, you know, um, you know, we're, we're very transparent, we're very authentic on who we are. And we, we can't, we, 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 you know, that's what we, you know, we can't, we can't do nothing else, man. You know what I mean? I, I, I hate to, I hate to be uh, front and flaws in front of y'all, uh, you know, in our own organization, you know, but once you're authentic yeah. with a young person, you can create transformation. That's what transformation happens. Yeah. When they see the true and, and real you and they see that you care about them. And then once you transform them, now yeah. you teach them excellence. And so forth, and that's what the whole yeah. model of making extra norm uh, comes from. So, it's a lifestyle, man. Lifestyle. Yeah. Um, so, man, just want to highlight a few people, man. Again, we can't start mm -hmm. it out. Can't start it off without man recognizing the people. The dream that put team, the time, energy, effort, money. The dream team, man. The board of directors. So, man, kudos to our board of directors. Uh, man, thank you all for your continuous support, man, uh, of SJF Enterprise. And also, man, to the individuals that, man, go above and beyond, and they giving hours with it, a whole bunch of hours, man. you know, to really help us do what we do, man. So, Another man, dream kudos team. to the exec team. Another <laughs> dream team. Man, shout out to you guys, man, for really, you know, believing in, believing in, asking in myself, and getting behind us, uh, man, full-fledged, and uh, really helping us do the work that we do. Um, but real quick, while we exist, again, we won't hit too much on it, but there's two stats here. Um, that I want to focus on. Um, and the first step is that, man, you know, why does STS exist? Almost 45% of youth live in poverty, live at or below the poverty line here in Memphis. Again, that number is almost 45% of youth live at or below the poverty line here in Memphis. That means that almost one in, almost one in two kids are, are, you know, in an environment that's potentially to average child childhood experiences that could lead to trauma that could shape their thought process their mentality and you know for us man we got to find a way to to empower and, and really show them something different you no know, but we got a huge a huge opportunity and we can't do the work alone but we know that we have to do something you know to give our to give our young people a different you know a different goal to shoot for a different thought process of, of a, you know like a different reality uh, that we have to give our young people. Uh, but the thing that me and Alpha look at the most, you know, is that Memphis is the sixth largest metro as it relates to the amount of youth under the age of 18. That means that in Memphis, almost 30% of our total population is young people. You know, and we talk about the the workforce. We talk about, you know, that we had, if, that we had, if, if, we, if we wanted to bring other, co other companies here to Memphis, that aren't distribution driven, you know, where students can really maximize their 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 skills, that we can bring in a, a, a totally different group of companies and employers. You know, and the, the thing they always say is that Memphis, um, the citizens don't have the 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 skills of that these big companies are, are looking for. So we believe that, you know, that by by putting by, you know, getting students involved in our program, that they really we really get a chance to change the trajectory of the Memphis workforce that we could take okay. these students, uh, that we could take these 30% uh, of our population, give them the skills that they need that will make them, you know, marketable and attractive to, 
different companies and corporations, and we can be, begin to really man, transition and, and transform the Memphis uh, workforce talent. So those mm. are two of the big reasons why it's just enterprise exists. Mm. It's big, bro. It's real, bro. It's real. Yeah. Man, and so I mean, and, and so I guess the question is, how do we do this? You know, we do it through two of our program and two of our services. Um, you know, our first program we mentioned middle school and high school is the STS Strive program. That's focused on middle school and high school students, uh, both both young men and young ladies, primarily African American and Latino students. That's what we focus on with the STS yeah. Strive program. For the elite program, that's our collegiate program. It's focused on uh, schools locally here in Memphis, University of Memphis. Uh, Rose, CBU, Southwest, LOC, uh, those institutions, we bring all those individuals together. And we'll explain and dive a little deeper, a little more about those programs and our two services. Um, STS Serves, which just gives us the opportunity to volunteer in the community, whether it's clean up trash, whether it's read books to students, whatever it may be, we get to deploy young people across our city to make sure they give back because that's a critical piece of being, uh, making excellence the norm. Um, and then last but not least, STS Speaks. You know, God has blessed us with the opportunity to speak life into young people. And so STS Speaks is our initiative. Where we're going to speak across the city and empower young people through lectures, uh, through webinars, uh, through keynotes, through workshops, things of that nature. Yeah. Yeah, so that's some fun facts. You know, uh, again, STS, man, since our inception has, uh, has always been what we call career-driven volunteering. You know, we work with young professionals who have, you know, dreams and, and you know, passions and pursuits where they want to continue to develop themselves in their career. And we basically, you know, take professionals and put them in a role that they ultimately want to be in their professional career and it allows them to grow and get the experience uh, that they would need uh, that they probably wouldn't get in their job. You know, we've literally had Awesome, man. So many people who came in just volunteered, you know, and it's really helped them land the jobs that they want, that they that they want, or right. get the promotion that they wanted. Because now they can talk about, hey, I did, I led this initiative, I led, I did this, and out there for both of us, you yeah. know, SCS was a was a huge reason why we got our jobs. Man, you know, international paper. You know, I know I was an IT major, but you know, that that SCS experience really helped. You know, especially from a leadership standpoint, it really helped. You know, international paper take a, a liking to me, and I'm yep. pretty sure the same thing with you, Alton, right? Yep. No game changer, but it was, it was always the number one job on my resume. It was. It was always. Yep. It was always that that number one job on the resume. It provided the experience, no doubt. Yeah, and um, you know, and you know, with our coaches again, we host about sixty empowerment events annually. Uh, you know, so we're doing man multiple things to keep these students engaged with a variety of topics. Uh, from day one, we've always been community invested and funded. You know, basically, we've been able to mobilize young professionals and supporters across the across the city of Memphis, and even some people outside of outside of the city of Memphis. You know, to come in and you know help us do the work that we do. You know, make sure that we got money to feed our kids. My kids, they're a little spoiled. And I ain't gonna lie. After hey. they come to the session, is Chick Fil A, Chick Fil A, Swanky, what a honey. They, they hey, man. get <laughs> Look, man, they get, they eat good, you know, uh -huh. and, and we could we could do this work without, you know, our coaches, you know, and the people that invest um, into the into STS. And man, after since 2012, man, we've been able to impact over 8,500 youth uh -huh. here in the city of Memphis, uh -huh. you know, and that's huge for us, you know, from from one on one to groups to speaking to groups such as the Office of Youth Service to being able to speak at the MLK 50, you know, to be able to deliver a message to the youth. Man, we've been able to man just consistently reach and be a, a light and a voice to young people um here in Shelby County. And man, it's been a blessing, bro. Um yeah, and then last but not least, man, in twenty eighteen, after I don't know if you remember this. Well, I know you remember this, man. It was a big night oh, for us. Uh, we got a chance to bring some of our oh, students. Don't play, hold on, cuz. Don't play with it. Hey, man, you know? <laughs> hey, hey, you, you, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, we on flex. We don't mean to flex. Hey, look, <laughs> you know? hey. hey Look, bro, I can see you've been in the gym. Because that, that, that no, no, award kind of heavy. I've been in the refrigerator. I've been in the refrigerator, the kitchen. Okay. Yeah, yeah that, so, man, we got awarded the 2018 man, Spark Award, man, uh, by City Care, man, for the nonprofit of the year with under a million dollar budget. And, man, just to be honest, man, our budget is nowhere near a uh, million dollars. 
you know, but just the uh, just even being a number, man, you know, it's a it's a, again, it's not Alfred Jeremy. It's a it's a kudos to our coach. I mean, I see one of our coaches on now, Camille. What up, Camille? You know, uh, man, who who really man pour into us and really give it all to the organization and to the kids that we work with. So, man, that's what it's all about. And man, we were able to get that award simply because of the board and the, and our parents and our students and our coaches who really believe in us. Yep, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. All right, so we, we're going to dive deep, y'all. We're going to dive deep. All right, so with the high school and with the college program, we, from a population standpoint, what we get our students, all schools across Shelby County. All right, so for the high school yep. and for the middle school program, we literally do not focus on the zip codes. So we got kids from South Memphis to East Memphis to Orange Mound to Cordova, Collierville, West Memphis, Arkansas. We literally got kids from all over the city. From a collegiate standpoint, for the STS Elite program, we got students from University of Memphis, LOC, Rhodes, CBU, Southwest, literally all the schools here in Memphis. And the reason why we do that is a few things. Collaboration. We literally bringing our city together because our city is not one zip code. Our city is a makeup of different zip codes, and we got to make sure our students stay connected. And so now you got folks that don't even fool with folks in North Memphis. They cool with folks in South Memphis. Or for somebody from Orange Man or White Haven, now they now they cool with somebody in Cordova. So you got kids from and then from a school standpoint, you got folks that at Southwest now they connected with folks at University of Memphis or LOC connected with somebody at CBU, and you literally creating a family or a a village around these individuals uh, as we move forward. Uh, secondly, from a, what we teach our students, we literally create our own curriculum. This is not a paid curriculum. We literally create our curriculum through our coaches and our students. And so we literally, it's customized, it, it fits towards our population. Uh, we able to adjust it as time goes on. Um, and and, and, and we, it, it's huge, right? And so if our students like something, they let us know. When they didn't like something, they let us know um, because it's, it's created for them. Um, and, and so uh, we always, uh, one of our, uh, Larry Lord always told us, man, don't make decisions about me without me. You know what I mean? And, and that's something that stuck with us. So we, we always inv involve uh, the participant feedback into our, our programs. Um, next piece is student-led uh, opportunities. So our students have the opportunity literally to lead in the organization. They have the opportunity to create volunteer opportunity, volunteer events. They have an opportunity to uh, 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 coordinate different session things that be going on in the session. They, they're involved in, in board meetings. So now we're getting them equipped early before they jump out there, jumped out, jumped out there before they graduate. Now they're getting involved with it early. They know the yeah. conversation like. They're around people who got their own businesses, so they know how to operate. And so they able to get that experience. The next piece, which is really, really important. Um, for our high school program, we're meeting virtually right now on Saturdays. It's, it's, it's twice a month uh, on Saturdays. Um, it's about two hours, right? Um, it's virtually. Uh, for, our, for our collegiate program, it's going to be on Mondays. It's virtual as well. Until we go back to, they let us allow us to go back into the school. I mean, uh, allow us to go on campus. We're doing all virtual sessions. So for the STS Drive program, it's on Saturdays twice a month. For the uh, for the collegiate program, STS Drive is 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 twice a month on Mondays. All right. Next piece. Uh, from a resource standpoint, variety of resources for the parents and students. We literally have portals on our website where it has interview information, career information, internship information. Um, different resources for our parents and our students they can utilize to help each other out. For our, for our parents, we got a parent booster club. So they have an opportunity, Dr. V is a, uh, our president. So they got opportunity to connect yeah. with others and talk about different conversations. When when the whole issue around uh, 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 man uh, racism came along, we had a conversation about that with our parents. When COVID-19 came along, we had a conversation with our parents. How do you move and shake with, with COVID-19 with your students now? I mean, with your, with your child now? Um, and so we got a man, a list of different resources for our parents and our students to make sure they're able to be uh, move forward. We partnered with United Way, so we're able to we able to give them different resources and, and connect our students and our parents if a need is there. Um, next is corporate corporate uh, campus tours, job shadowing, and internships. Of course, due to COVID nineteen, it's kind of shifted a little bit. We're able to do more so virtual tours instead of going to the company. But we're going to different companies across the city, small, mid size, and large, so our young people and our college students can see the companies that's, that exist in Memphis. Man, I ain't gonna lie. Man, Duval love Tampa. I love Dallas. I love New Orleans. We love, you know, <laughs> we love those spots, right? Yeah. But we gotta keep our talent here. 
Um, and, and we do that by exposing different companies that are here and then exposing the professionals to them, right? So STS can be a pool. So when they need to find somebody, they call it STS. Um, next is group yep. and one-on-one -on -one mentoring. The group piece is critical, also the one-on-one. -on -one. So not only are our students meeting in different groups virtually now, but we were meeting in person before, but they meet with one-on-one. -on -one. So they got a person they're going to be able to connect with. And we have a system that where we match our coaches and our students to make sure that the, the relationship is compatible. And it is a relationship. And understand, when we say mentoring, we really yeah. call them coaches, right? This is not a, yeah. I'm going to do this for you program. No, I'm partnering with you in this journey. So it ain't just the coach hitting up the student all the time. It's going to be the mentee and uh, it's going to be the mentee or the PM and the coach communicating consistently, right? Um, because it's a partnership, yeah. right? This ain't no savior program. We ain't trying to save no kids. We're trying to partner with kids in their journey, right? Um, and last but not yeah. least, man, young professional coaches. We got we got young professionals from all over the city, from different walks of life and involved in the organization that we blessed yeah. to have. Yep. And Alton, man, something you said, uh, you said we're not trying to save kids, you know, and, and, and I want y'all to hear us out. You know, we say we're not trying to save kids, man, you know, there are so many young people that as long as they're attached to a person, they, they're able to do good. But once, but eventually that person has to move on and do something else, right? And a lot of times once our students get disconnected from a person, like they fall off. Mm -hmm. So what we try to do is partner with the students so they can have the self-confidence in themselves that, hey, I can think through a situation and make and make a good decision. Mm -hmm. Like, and, and it's mm -hmm. all about building the confidence in the student's ability. And that's why we partner with them because at the end of the day, we want to partner along with them so that once life hits, they are able to critically think about and lean on the experiences that we've taught them and they can go and make decisions. And now they're not so dependent on on the Alex and our Jeremy or their coach. And that's so important. We we have to build young people who can think for themselves, who know how to persevere through tough situations. And that's what it's all about. So man, I just wanted to hear on that real quick, Alto. It's real, now it's real. But yeah. So now you know next, just again we'll hit on this won't stand this long, but again, it's all about student success. Making sure that our students are successful. You know, making sure that they're really getting opportunities. And y'all, these are, and you see these companies at the bottom. You got FedEx, AutoZone, Smith and Nephew, you know, uh, State Jew, Volkswagen, Cummins, Citibank. Like these are some major corporations locally, globally. These are some major corporations that we've had our students that we work with obtain internships and full time placement. And again, this is what it's all about. And I want to highlight two students real quick. First, I want to highlight Miles Thomas. Miles just graduated uh, from Freedom Prep High School this past year. And Miles want to be a pilot. Like, he, he, he thinks in aviation. He wants to be a pilot. So, man, what they did in the Shrive programs, and then kudos to the Shrive programs and the coaches who saw what this young man wanted to do and reacted for him, right? So Miles wanted to be a pilot, and they saw that Southwest Airlines had a flight camp in Dallas. So what we do? Apply. Hey, man, let's start applying for this. And let's sign up. Let's see if we can get a grant to send them there. And long story short, we got this young man um, to go to Dallas, Texas for the Southwest Flight Camp. And, man, I'm just happy to say that last year, this young man, again, a senior here in Memphis, Tennessee, flew his first, his first plane by himself. Flew his first plane by himself. And now he's getting ready to graduate. Now he's graduating. Now he's really taking those next steps to pursue, uh, to become a pilot. I mean, that's huge, man. That's what we look for. And that's what we try to do for the students in our program. Yeah. Uh, next, I want to highlight Justin Clark. Man, Justin, Justin saw he used to want to get friends at SCS at high school and said, I'm going to rock with y'all in college. Justin rocked with us in college, man, expanding his network. This, this young man, he, he already had the tools. He needed the network and opportunity. Strictly is that. He needed network and opportunity. And then for his senior year, Justin went to Nashville. So he said, man, I'm not going to stay in Memphis. I'm going to make that sacrifice. He had a conversation. And he could, he made the sacrifice and went to Nashville and worked for the tennis for the tennis for the state uh the state capital in uh Nashville. And by the time this young man left Nashville, he was recognized by the Tennessee General Assembly for the work that he does. That's what we call making excellence the norm. You know, he was able to lean on some of the experiences that, that we that we instilled in him. And I think that we taught him everything, but I know for a fact that you hear just on the phone and say, Hey man, SCS, they showed me how to they showed me how to rock it. They showed me how to get in front of people have a conversation, articulate my words, 
uh, not being scared to publicly speak in person, learn how to take initiative. We put those things in place, and this man, young man was able to thrive. And now Justin got like three, four jobs, and he, yeah, he killed it. You know, want to want to be a lawyer, want to NBA. You know, yeah. but it's killing it, man. You know, and that's what we consider student success. So we got a num- a numerous of, of of other stories, but those two stand out um, just among the side that we just had. So, but Allison, man, tell them about the family benefit because you know we talk a lot about our coaches and, and what and, and what our coaches mean to the program. Talk yeah. about that that family benefit from a coach standpoint. So and so and, and, and we talk we talking about. Here, here when we say this, we, we're talking about students' family, but we're talking about the STS organization family. You feel what I'm saying? If you under the STS umbrella, you family. Let, let's, let's get that, let's get that understood. And everybody know that part of the organization, they already know that. Like it's fam. When somebody going through something, they hitting us up, or we hitting them up. Hey, you good? What's going on? Um, and so when you're a part of the STS family, you already get opportunities to, to be to lead as a as a leadership, personal and professional as well. So we get we got we're blessed yeah. with exclusive networking events, sponsored events, right? That we do organizational wise, but also people contact us about uh, the, for, for folks to get engaged with. Uh, so, for example, we got a number of different entrepreneurs uh, in our organization. So we partnered with uh, one of one of the most man prestigious man entrepreneur organizations in the city of Memphis, right? That exposes yeah. individuals to, to to entrepreneurs, man, all the way up from Fred Smith to individuals in, in different sectors, right? And so we're able to connect yeah. our coaches with that with that group. Um, shout out to Miss Pearson, man. I had a shout out, man. Shout out to Miss Pearson, man. Uh, the boss Besides lady. Besides being entrepreneurs. Yeah, man, side of entrepreneurs, man. And we were blessed to partner with them and they were able to get us some of our folks in and expose them to those different environments. Um, yeah. uh, and so we appreciate them for that and different other groups uh, such as, man, City Current. Man, list goes on, man, list goes on. Um, from an award yeah. standpoint, man, we've been blessed to receive the number of awards. I mean, y'all know we humble, man. We ain't really, we ain't all about, I, I showed the award, but we, man, that, we don't flex awards like that, man. We don't, we ain't, we ain't doing that, man. We know, we, we know nobody but God. But the ability to be able to award other people for what they're doing, the top 40 under 40, top 20 yeah. under 30, um, uh, for yeah. program of the year, you're able to award different directors, right? And so that's what being a part of the STS family. Now, hear me when we say that we ain't doing it for the awards. But when you when you make excess and norm, it, man, yeah, it come it come with it come with the territory, you know what I mean? And so, yeah, um, it's just part of it. Um, and it's STS family. You're around like minded individuals, right? You got individuals that got different businesses. They in education. You got people that's man in government. You got people that's uh man in finance. You got so many different in diverse industries involving STS, and everybody trying to get it. Yeah. Everybody trying to get it, and they trying yeah. to get it, right? Double G, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They're trying to give, they're trying to give, you know what I mean? And, 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 yeah. and as, they, as they move forward, they're trying to make sure that they connect with other individuals, you know, and so forth. Um, man, it's a family atmosphere without the drama, right? Man, anytime we have an issue, we nip it in the bud, straight up. We having a meeting, we talking through it, whatever it may be. But it's a it's an amazing yeah. environment for individuals to connect in and be a part of uh, and, fa- and feel appreciated and also feel that you can just be yourself, right? You ain't got a cold yeah. switch. You ain't got to do none of that. Like it, it's it's a true family atmosphere without the drama, and you need support system. I say this, man. You know, guarantee you that if you got a business, ST is gonna support that job. And I got the member B to, yeah. to prove it. We got we got we got the receipts yeah. to prove. It. You know what I mean? And 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 yeah. if you got a business and we can support you and 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 it's involving STS, like how can we how can we help yeah. how can we help get your business started? How can we help hire you on yeah. as a third party vendor so you can move your business forward and we can be one of your clients? And so that's that's yeah. what we see is, man. It's a true benefit and understand that it's because you're getting back to our young people. Literally, and, and I don't know yeah. if we talked about this already, but yeah, we will in a few minutes, you know what I mean? But you get back to our young people, say no more. We're gonna we're gonna bless you as well. So yeah. Yeah, man, you know, again, and the those those if those family benefits, bro. Um, it's something that we don't take lightly. You know, we try to always find ways to support our coaches because without our coaches, we couldn't do the work that we do. You know, we have uh, no paid staff. Um, our organization is 100% volunteer driven. And for us to be recognized as one of the best uh, nonprofits for young people here in the city of Memphis, it's a testament to the coaches, right? hands down. Yep. Um, so, um, and 
and you know, there are a lot of options that people can volunteer with, and we're just grateful that people give us the opportunity. Um, especially as two young, two young men, you know, you know, who 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 really just been telling them our dream and this is what we hope to create, and they're actually taking taking that and making it a reality. So, yeah, yeah super grateful again. Shout out to our coaches. Um, but that's an important part, and we almost done. We're gonna open it up for questions in a few. But a big part of this is, you know, what are the requirements? You know, that's what most people want to know. Hey, man, I love what you said. I love the thing, what SCS stands for. It sounds like you guys are doing some good work in the community. But exactly what what does it mean for me as a coach? You know, so I'm going to start off with the STRIDE program. So, again, the the STRIDE program is a high school uh, leadership program. It is co-ed. And we typically recruit incoming eighth and ninth graders. Uh, So, right now, we actually have recruiting open um, for both the Strive and Elite program, you can go to our website, www.stsenterprise.org. And as soon as you get on the website, you're going to see a pop up that's going to ask you to either nominate a student or or uh, you can sign up yourself. So, if you know anybody that's, in, that's, in, that's an incoming eighth and ninth grader uh, or a person that's in college that'll be going to one of the local colleges, to, lo- local colleges here in Memphis, uh, I please encourage you to sign them up and uh, help let them join the STF family. Um, but again, back to Strive. You know, this program we have a parent booster club, over oh, just a support group. Again, Alston mentioned Dr. Nichols. You know, shout out to Dr. Nichols for taking on the role of our parent booster club president. Um, but this program in particular for you as a coach, um, the commitment is two Saturdays out of the month. Um, there are 16 Saturdays out the entire year that you're going to have an STS session. Um, and for all everything with everything going on with COVID, you know, uh, safety is our number one priority for our coaches, for our students, for our parents. So this entire, uh, the entire fall semester, uh, will be virtual. Um, so everything that we do from now until December will, will be virtual, and we'll also continue to look to see if we need to take that same course of action in the spring, depending on how the virus uh, does. Uh, but as a coach with the high school program, you'll come on Saturday from 10 to 1 uh, via Zoom. Um, you'll have about 6 to 12 hours a month. Um, and when I say 6 to 12, if you're in leadership, like I directed Brianna Scott. So shout out to me, Scott, me uh, Scott. who's done an excellent job doing the program. Uh, she does 12 hours. Like she's giving it, man, giving us hours upon hours, you know, to dedicate to the organization. But as a coach, you can give to 6 hours a, a month. And that's your two sessions. That built inside those sessions are your group of one-on-one mentoring. Um, this year, we're looking to have about 80 students and looking to have about 30 coaches. Um, so we'll definitely want, want our coaches to jump on board um, and really help us empower our high school students. We got 80 students, y'all. That's a lot of students. We want to make sure that we're giving the students the attention that they need um, when they go through things. They're going to they go through life. Like, man, mama, mama, daddy getting on my nerves. I can't stand these folks, you yeah. know, to, yeah. man, I want about to come to my game or, you know, man, I have a boy or girl problems, you know, stuff that we all went through and, and to be able to be that support for these young people, even to tell them, hey, man, you can do it. Like, have you thought about this? Man, try it. I believe in you. You know, that's what it's all about. So, um, again, that's six hours uh, a month. Um, and all those dates are already already laid out. So we already have the entire fall and spring dates laid out for the Strive program. Um, and the ten dollars a month again. This is what we talked about. You know, community investing. You know, we want to ask all of our coaches to donate ten dollars a month to help us push the mission forward. Again, we have no paid staff, no part time staff. So every dollar that you give goes directly to programming. I mean, even goes to training. Like I know last year, Alton, and we had a number of students y'all with the DC. Yeah, for yeah, the yeah, mental yeah. conference. Yep. You know, and man, we took we took our coaches. It wasn't just Alton. I didn't even go. Like, I hadn't been in two years. They done, y'all have been three years, right, Alton? Yeah. This will be year yeah. four yeah. this year. Yeah. And I only yeah. was the first year, but we were taking other coaches, you know, to go on experiences so they can get that experience. So, man, that $10 a month really helps us with programming and provide the experience that our, that our students need. Yeah. Um, they should have the STS Elite Program which is our collegiate leadership program. And they meet on Mondays. So Strive meets on Saturdays, Elite meets on Mondays. And their time is 6 to 8 p.m. Um, and a Strive coach will give 4 to 12 hours a month. Um, so, again, that 4 is the basic. And then you have the 12 hours is for, like, our, our director. So shout-out to Jay Trouble, who's done an awesome job 
um, as the uh, SGS Elite Assistant Director, uh, yep. man, doing some great Jay things. Um, but kind of how <laughs> Jay Trill, you know, but how kind of broken out? 32 hours in session, 32 hours of, of coaching with your student, and then you got six flex hours. So this year we're projecting about 50 uh, collegiate students, and uh, we'll have we're looking to have about 20 coaches. Again, want to make sure that we got enough coaches to really make sure we give our students the time and attention that they need, right? And then last but not least, um, last but not least, again at ten dollars a month. Again, it's just a programmatic. It's a programmatic as if and we and guys. This this how this how you know that we're not about the money. And again, it's not it's not for us. It's it's more so about really driving the mission. But if just say you become a partner in this, right? And man, like COVID hit, you know, money get tight. You know, man, all you had to do was send us an email, we'll pause it. You know, and it, it, there's been cases to where somebody donated and like, man, bro, I ain't know what's coming out. We refund the money back. You know, so, but our goal as an organization by 2025 is to have 500 partners of excellence. You know, everybody giving a little bit to make a big impact. That's the model that we have. Um, but this is optional, but we encourage all of our coaches to, to do that $10 a month. And if you want to do more, we got some coaches that do more. You know, we most definitely welcome there. But again, all of the all of the money uh, that you donate goes to the program and it goes to the kids. Alton, you got anything that you want to add to this from this slide? Man, nah, that's it. That's it, man. You hit it on the nose. All right, man. So we got questions and answers, man. You know, we got a, you said we got about twenty minutes, twenty minutes left. So, man, if y'all have any questions, man, most definitely if y'all can put them in the if y'all can put them in the live. Uh, that'll be great. Um, y'all got any questions? Uh, Steve-O, what's good, my guy? Shout out to man, our former board, board, of, board of director, board of vice chairman, Steven Sanders. Man, uh, oh. just jumped on as well, man. He's Chris, doing some, Downey, he's doing man, some big too, things man. right now. Who? Chris Downey, man. Man, the number one PG come out of Memphis, man. Yeah, yeah. So, man, does anybody have any questions, man? You know, we want to answer any questions that you may have. Uh, this session is recorded. So you so we'll post it. You can always go back and look at the video. It'll be on YouTube. It'll also be on our page. Um, but if you have any questions, uh, feel free to put them in the chat. Or if you're watching on our website, uh, you can send us a text message at 901-654-8939. Again, that number is 901-654-8939. And probably, man, I get so this is the next steps, man. I, y'all probably say, okay, what's next steps? Um, Courtney Richard, what's yeah. up, man? What's up? What's up, Doc? Man, next steps we would do. Um, we see y'all questions come in. We appreciate that. Um, next steps, you'll get a you'll get an email from today and give you options to say, hey, this is the program I want to get involved in. And once you fit, once you uh, identify that program, we'll then uh, uh add you to all our communications, add you to all the groups, and you'll be involved, and then you'll join us for for the for the next year. So. I see uh I see Ms. Prather uh does mentoring for the school year begin with the academic school year. Great question. We we actually follow the school year. So um we're actually starting in September uh for the for the uh high school program and for the collegiate program. I believe y'all starting in late August, right? August 28th. August 28th, right? So um, but Ms. Prather, anytime if we were in a regular regular school year, we always follow the school schedule. So our schedule is based off the uh, academic uh, school year as well. So good question, good question. Courtney Richard dropped some nuggets on me today, man. I've been talking about talking to the wife about what you told me, man. I ain't gonna lie, that was a he had a real good plan, man. I I, I think it'd be good to put that thing in action, man. Uh, yeah. Shout out to Courtney Richard, man. Pure power, pure power in the building. Oh man, hey, executive man, you in executive position there, man. You know, uh, exec, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, after the check, that bag will look heavier than I Oh, oh, but who you said? He, he already know it. <laughs> he already know it. Uh, um, yeah, man. Yeah. So, but thank y'all for joining. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, you know, uh, chop it up still. We uh, wait for y'all to drop some questions and if y'all have any. But thank y'all for joining, man. You know, yeah. uh, it's a blessing to, yeah. it's a blessing to see it move forward, but it's a blessing to see it move forward without just me and Jeremy. You know what I mean? That that's yeah. that's the reason, man, for people to say, man, I'm I'm passionate about our young people as well. I'm literally gonna do this job like it's my second job or like a full-time job. Right. And you got some people say, man, I'll give it this much time. I get it. 
or you got some people that say, hey, I want, I can give, you know, financially, I'm going to give it, whether it's $10 a month or $100 a month, whatever it is. Um, we're blessed to be able to um, see that, man. So we appreciate y'all. Hope y'all can join the fam. I mean, I ho hope y'all hope y'all see the authenticity. Yeah. Hope y'all see the fun that we have. Hope y'all yeah. see the, the, the mission and, and, and want to jump on board. Yeah. So. Hey, hey, Alson, but so to be, we got a little time, man. Let's, yep. let's you know, again, want to want to make sure we get people time to. I'm, I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the phone number in the chat so people can see it in case, um, you know, you know, in case we said that number too quick. But Alson, man, tell me about man. What's one story that really, man? One story that really, one uh, either of a of a student or a coach, man, that really, man, that really touches you. I, that one that really comes to mind that was a game changer. So uh, I, I got you real. I'm, I'm going to answer this question. Somebody did uh, ask a question. They said, to clarify for the Stride program, how does a typical Saturday look? Yeah. I'm going to answer that question. I'm, that's a good question, bro. Um, for the Stride program, how a Saturday looks, um, we have a leadership session time. We basically do a team building activity, something to get the students engaged. It's in the morning, so you got to wake them jokers up, uh, wake, the, wake the young people up, you know what I mean, uh, and, and just, man, be able to click and, and, and have some time to talk. They get connected with their coach. Uh, so either they coach or a group of different coaches and have different conversations about checking in, what's going on, how you been, uh, and, and things of that nature. Um, and then we'll go into our actual session. Whatever that topic is for that specific group, we'll have a conversation about it. We have activities. Um, we'll have different, um, different activities that align with the topic so that we're not just talking to them, but they're actually doing different, do, doing different things to make it real to them. Um, and then last but not least, we'll do a recap, like a rose and thorn, see how everything went and so forth. And so that's kind of how a typical Saturday goes. Um, if we were in the building, uh, we will be eating breakfast. We'll be breaking bread together, chopping it up. Um, when we have all the students together at one time. And then once we go into our sessions, we'll then break away and, uh, we'll and then break away and, uh, go to their specific groups uh, that they're in. So, um, yep. Oh, no doubt. No doubt. No problem. No problem. Thank you for asking the question. Man, so for me, man, you know, what's what's one situation that I think was uh, a win for us? I ain't gonna lie, man. It was, man, it was a uh, man. Uh, look, my Michael. I ain't gonna lie, bro. It was it was it was little Mike, man. You know, Michael, man, and you know, Doctor V, a uh, son, Michael Nichols. Um, and you know, it was. Mm -hmm. I remember. The, I remember the first time, bro. I seen bro with some more confidence, dog. I remember he had the he he because he had he just got. <laughs> Well, he had his dreads already, but he had red, he got the little red tips. You know what I'm saying? He had, he had, I think he had dyed them or something. <laughs> I mean, I saw him pull up. He's like, what's up, Mr. Alton? I'm like, what's up, what's up, little bro? You good? You know what I'm saying? And I just saw the energy was different, bro. And I knew it was because he either just saw something in himself or he had been around some people who who just, who probably uplifted him. You feel what I'm saying? Or just brought that, that other personality out because, you know, some people just quiet, just in general, they're just quiet. But man, it was just something just brought yeah. it out of him, bro. And and man, it was a blessing to see, man. And I think I think it was after I think it was after we had sent him out to a camp, um, uh, uh, art camp. And I, I don't know if it was just he saw he yeah. saw the that we invested in him or we you know whatever it may be. But to see that young man with that much confidence, bro, and it ain't stopped it. He got more confidence now. You know what I mean? And, and more swag. <laughs> man. I don't even, I don't even know who he is no more. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that I think yeah. for me. From a high school standpoint, that was probably the biggest thing, bro. And to he see him now, he doing art pictures for people and things of that nature. That that that, yeah. that blessed me. And, it, and it's I ain't gonna lie, I could have picked any other story, but I think for for him, I think it was important because you yeah. got a number of different students who, uh, who maybe just like him that need that confidence boost. I was one of them that need the confidence boost in high school. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah. but somebody said, man, I see value in it. Empowered you. And now you're able to take your passion onto another level. That's mine. That's mine. Which which one stick yeah. for you? I think I got. I think I, I think I know which one. Man. Stick for you. <laughs> man, which one stick out to me, man? You know, if I had to think about a a, a, a parent or 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 a student where they story really really stood out. College student. College student. Now, I probably was. College student. Oh, college student. College student. Okay. If I had to think about a college student where it really stood out, man, I probably. I mean, I, I naturally want to go with Jay Trouble. You know, good, you know, man, Jasmine, man, very talented student. Uh, man, HR major at Fogelman College of Business, 3.8 GPA. Um, man, and she she had all the tools, right? 
just the exposure, you know, right. having the opportunity to really, you know, work with companies that do the internships and meet with people. And, you know, man, you know, for her, man, once she graduated, man, with me and her, we had some conversations about what was next. You know, she was working at FedEx office. And, um, man, the opportunities came about at Christian Brothers. And I never forget, man, we talked about her going to get her MBA, you know, and we didn't really know if she was going to do it or not, but the goal was to get the MBA. And, man, she went and got it. And, man, she instantly started working for, for um, she had, a, she got the internship with, uh, no, she didn't get internship, she got a full-time job with Christian Brothers that paid for her MBA. So yep. she's getting ready to graduate, I think, this May with a free MBA and upon that, you know, getting on the international paper, mm-hmm. you know, man, changed the life. Man, she went and got a new whip, right. you know, man, man, look, man, whip, whip clean, you know, yeah. make it, make it, you know, man, big bread, now the bag got heavy, you know, man, you know, now I see her, man, she got four, five, six, seven, there, dude, you right. know, they don't get done every day, you know, she, she just ain't bossing up, you know, man, but that's one story, man, uh, she was one of the first students um, one of the first students that that not only bought into what we were selling, but after she got done, she started serving. Yeah, you know, and I think ultimately that's what it's all about. Out we talk about coaching, especially our students. But guys, this one that we didn't mention, but the whole goal for every student that's an SPS is for them to complete the circle, be a student, handle their business, and come back and be a coach and empower the next generation. Like, you know, and that's the whole goal. She was one of the first students that really, you know, gave, that really came out. Shout out to Marlena who created the scholarship, yep. um, who, who graduated a few years before her. So, man, kudos to Marlena for the $1,000 sure. scholarship that she gives to STF Elite students every year. Right. Um, but Jasmine was, she got a 10 man, got right in, and really has a huge, in, a huge input on how we do our college uh, program and even had a huge role in changing it. Yep. You know, for what was student driven to now professional driven, and you know, it's professional led and student driven. Right. You know, so I mean, that's one story that really stood out to me, man. Um, a young lady who had all the tools in the world, you know, and sometimes we just need to, we just need somebody to think about us while they while they in the room, yep. you know, to be that sponsor for us, and 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 we'll be able to reach our full potential. So, man, that's, uh, that's one story that stands out. It's real. It's real. Yeah. I mean, I, I think we didn't hear the process yeah. long enough, man. I ain't gonna lie, dog. It, it's been a blessing always, bro. Yeah. Man. Just to, you know, yeah. I always remember we don't really get to talk about this stuff, man. We just kind of we kind of hit the ground running and you yeah. know and keep pushing, man. So yeah, it really it really is a blessing to be yeah. able to talk about it, just man, and just be able to see I man how, how how God is able to do this. God's able to use us to do this work and, yeah. and folks are working with as well. So man, no, no doubt. Yeah. No, but, so, so before we before we jump off, man, just a, a quick house note. So if, if if you're interested, if anything we said tonight, if you said, man, again, one, we don't, we, there's no pressure. You know, I want to make sure that you guys know that there's no pressure. No, I'm okay, um, bro. No, bro. We applied the pressure. Yeah, you know pressure. We applied the pressure, oh, dog. You applied the pressure. Hey, man. Okay. Hey, bro. Young people need uh, us, bro. They need us, dog. We uh, applied the pressure, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Not that hard though. We we go play hard. We go play that hard. We just play a little bit of pressure. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little so, bit. Man, you know, but I, I, um, but man, hey, he the ED man. You know, so hey, yes sir. Uh, but man, you know, if anything we said tonight, man, if you tell them your heart, if you got a passion for it, if you want to, man, if anything we said, like we want to encourage you to shoot us a text to that number nine zero one six five four eight nine three nine. Send us your name and your email. Uh, shoot a text to that email, and then we'll have somebody follow up with, up with you within 72 hours. <laughs> um, again, if anything we said, if you say, hey, man, I love the work that you guys are doing. Man, I love the passion that you guys have. My mission uh, aligns with your mission. And you want to, you want to, man, jump on and be a coach. Again, they want to ask that you to shoot us a text message to 901-654-8939. Give us your name and your email, and somebody will follow up with follow up with you within 72 hours. Also, if you do become a coach, uh, we'll have our orientation uh, that will take place on August 22nd and 23rd. Um, so we'll have a training. You'll get you'll meet some people, meet, some, uh, meet one of our board members. We also got some professional trainers so you can be prepared 
and ready to hit the ground running, especially in this new environment where we love doing it virtual. So um again, man, we want to encourage anybody, man, if you if you if you like what you heard tonight, man, join the family. Join the family, man, and uh, we need you. Our youth need you. And uh man, our city needs you, man. This world needs you. So man, um thank you all so much uh for joining us tonight. Really appreciate it. Again, y'all could be doing anything on a Monday night. Man, but y'all rocking with us, man. So we really appreciate it. Oh, uh, Alice, I'm mean, I want to give you final words, bro. Hey, want to close it out? You said it, bro. Now we thank y'all so much you, for for joining us, man. You, you you know you all took time out y'all busy schedule, man, to hear out hear us uh uh with along with some good information, but some nonsense in the midst of it. And so we we appreciate y'all, and man, we pray y'all have a um that y'all safe during this COVID season, um during these times. Um, and we appreciate y'all, and we look forward to having y'all join the STS family. So. It's good. All right, man. Thank y'all so much, man. Y'all be blessed.